My birthday is coming up on December 6th, so if you could subscribe, it really, really mean a lot to me. I really want to reach a thousand subscribers before my birthday. Um, that's about it. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Hey, I made this video because of PN user N. He asked if I could make some decks for the new no spell event in Master Duel. Actually, I think that's pretty cool. No spells, only traps. Hopefully it's a little slower, but I think people will just ignore the no spell aspect and just do full monsters. I wanted to show off before we get into the decks, some good cards that I think will genuinely come up. The most popular deck I think is going to be Eldlick, just because that deck only runs trap anyways, and it's good. We're going to be running cards like Jinzo, and why Jinzo? Jinzo has the effect and negates all trap effects on the field. There's actually a trap card that can search out Jinzo. It's called Psychic Shockwave. When your opponent activates a trap, and since this is a trap event, I'm guessing there's going to be a large majority of people using traps. This card's going to be pretty live. You just summon Jinzo from your deck. Also, really good cards that are cheap are Toriental Tribute and Needle Ceiling. Now, these two cards are very similar because both of them destroy all monsters on the field. Toriental, when a monster is summoned. Needle Ceiling, when there is four or more monsters on the field, it destroys all face up. You can take advantage of this by having set monsters on your field if you're playing like a more stall slow deck. You can just destroy only your opponents so both of them are pretty good a really really good card i think that slept on a lot is lost wind you can target a special summon monster negate its effect and half its attack forever like that that effect is just forever also if they special summon from the extra deck your opponent you can just bring this back from the graveyard but it gets banished when it leaves the field also a really good card is heavy storm duster now it's a super rare but the thing is it comes in the pendulum structure deck i do recommend you bind the structure decks just because they come with good generic cards like this and i think this is going to be the most important card in this event like i'm not kidding this is probably the best card in the entire event target up to two spell or traps on the field destroy them yeah you can't conduct your battle phase to turn you activate this but you just activate it during your opponent's turn during their end phase when they're about to end their turn you just pop their spell or traps and like you're literally chilling it's really good next we got venus chain and negates a monster effect and essentially the same exact thing phantom knights fog blade and negates a monster effect and that monster can't attack this one has a graveyard effect that's good with uh phantom knights so if you're playing like any phantom knights in your deck or you want to play like phantom knights this card's going to be king it's gonna be good another one that i think is really fun that i wanted to talk about that not a lot of people know about is called underdog during your turn negate the face up effects of monsters your opponent controls so if you're gonna attack your opponent all their monsters effects are negated so if they have like a really powerful effect that activates during your turn like a negate or something nah negate and then during your opponent's turn all your monsters effects are negated now that'd be really good if you're running cards that like when you summon them they have low attack and then you negate their effect and their attack gets big an example would be like a cleefort monster they get summoned at 18 attack but if you negate their effects their attack goes all the way up to like 21 or 28 and it's huge besides that i'm going to be starting off with pendulums for cheap so when i was making this deck i was thinking in my head like well i want to make this deck for somebody who maybe they don't haven't crafted any of the pendulum cards they don't want to craft super or ultra rare cards I, this is literally the bare bones you can upgrade this deck and i'll show a little bit more expensive upgraded version essentially you're just running the pendulum structure deck the only cards that are included are abyss actor curtain razor which is really good you can special summon it from your scale it allows you to go into electromite there is one card that's crafted it's heavy metal heavy metal foes electromite this card is just so important if you are going to play this deck i do recommend you crafting this i know there's a new card it's called like beyond the pendulum it's like a link monster i don't know it when i own it i'll put it in and i'll do some tests with it for now electromite's still like in my opinion the king it's just the best card i think it's just really cool to have in your collection if you like pendulum decks because it's good in any pendulum deck we crafted exam key magician just because it has a cool pendulum effect where during either player's turn you can target a light monster on the field negate its effect i don't know how many people are going to be playing light decks in this event but still that's extremely powerful i mean it can negate even like a light link xyz synchro like anything it's just good to have also, it kind of has a good stat line. It's a normal, so it's easy to craft. Uh, I think it's a good card. We're running Toriental Tribute, Lost Wind, Heavy Feather Swarm Duster, and Time Pendulum Graph. The only thing with this variant is that Time Pendulum Graph is searchable if you have more of the like super and ultra rare magician cards and i'll talk about them real quick so let's say you crafted or you already own a card called double iris magician and purple poison those are really good you should throw them into the deck if you're wondering oh what cards do i take out you can easily cut down xanji or perform pal Oddize dissolver dissolver's only here so we can go into the fusion since we're playing a more cheaper variant we need to find ways to be able to get into our very powerful extract monsters because we don't have those like really good synergy cards that easily get into it and honestly i think this deck's gonna work well torrental tribute doesn't really hurt us too much especially since our pendulums go to the extra deck we can just summon them back i think the deck's gonna be really solid next up we got the expensive variant when i mentioned in the cheap i made an expensive i did it's literally 
like what I always play for the pendulums, except now you don't have like the spell card pendulum call that like protects your skills and it switches to two monsters. So it's a little less consistent. And because it's a little less consistent, we have to add in more powerful monsters. So I usually never run Chronograph. I just think he's garbage. Just because there's, if you have like powerful spells that search other cards, you don't need this guy. We don't have the powerful spells. So we're running Chronograph and he allows us to like destroy himself or he can be special summon from the hand and he gets you a pendulum monster on the field. We're also running Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. I don't usually run this card, but just because we're able to like spam out the field, we want cards that like let us be able to combo out. Our extra deck is like kind of the same as what I usually do. It's just a bunch of really good extra deck monsters. Brute Enforcer, Heavy Metal Foes. Brute Enforcer can be replaced with Beyond the Pendulum if you own that card. I don't, so I didn't. And XYZ lineup, Absolute Dragon, Babuska, Supreme King, Time Star Magician, but on the Fleur, Supreme King. Ignister, Supreme King again, and Audi's Vortex Dragon. Instead of running the spells, we're going to be running Heavy Storm Duster. I just think this card's going to be VIP. It's going to be so good because it's a trap only event. No spells. So even if your opponent's not playing any traps, yeah, this is going to be a dead card. But if your opponent's playing traps, like you literally blow out two of their cards and it only costed you one card, you're up on advantage. Uh, Lost Run, I think, is just super good. Negate a monster comes back from the graveyard. And Toriental Tribute is just powerful. Blow every monster on the field up. It's just cool. Next up, we got another Pendulum deck. This one I made because, like, this is a relatively new deck. It came out in the newest box, and it's fairly low rarity. And I say fairly because the only cards that are high rarity are the Fusion Monster, which is an ultra rare, the, the little bit weaker Fusion Monster, which is a super rare, and the monster that, like, searches your, your monsters. She is a super rare as well. But I'm going to be quite honest, you do not need these cards in the extra deck. You don't need these two. And uh, she, she you, you do need her. It's just a regular Valence deck. We're not running Cyberstein into the Nacheria guy. I mean, you can run it if you have it. This is more of a free-to-play variant. Our trap lineup is the same. Heavy Storm Duster is just so powerful. Pendulum skill is pretty good here because if you set both the skills and they match, which is very easy in this deck, you're going to be able to destroy two spell and traps on the field, which is essentially another duster. And I think having two dusters is just cool. How to play this deck is that all the valence are scale one. It's really important. And pendulum deck scale one is really important. And you're running this unique card called Kaiden and Kuro Obi. They're, they're like spirit uh, pendulums, which is weird. I've, like they're, they're relatively new to me, but their scale is a nine, which is perfect for this deck. And you just set them as a scale, and then you set the other dudes as a scale, and you pendulum everything. Also, the the Valiants can just be special summoned, like, without pendulum summoning, just by using their own effects. Rescue Ferret lets us special summon monsters from the deck. Their level has to be 6, like, equal 6, so it means we can just special summon the level 6s we have in our deck. Like, we can just special summon these two. I mean, that's pretty cool. We can also special summon the, the 4 and the 2. I think Ferret is really good. And Aratama is when it's normal summon. It can't be special summon. When it's normal summon, we can add a spirit. It, grab, it grabs us one of our skills, which just lets us pendulum summon easier. The extra deck looks very incomplete. The main reason is, I this is up to the viewer. Pendulums are really good with powerful links. If you have Boral Sword, Appalooza, Axis Go Talker, those are going to be really good in the extra deck. For now, I just put generic powerful extra deck cards that are normal and rare. Uh, Heavy Metal Foes, he's an ultra rare. But yeah, it's just literally, if you have powerful links, put them in the deck. I think the deck's going to perform well in the event, just because you have a lot of back row removal. And I mean, it's fairly cheap. Like ultimately, it's you only need to craft like three cards realistically. And it's just, it just seems really good. And here is our other deck. We got Girgios. I usually do Gear Gear for an event because for some reason, Konami made them extremely budget. Look at this. They're all normal and rare. To me, that makes me happy. I, I love to see stuff like that. So Gear Gear is a machine deck that has like extreme searchability. Like Ars Accelerator, if you control Gear Gear, special summon it from your hand. Arsenal, you can tribute it, special summon any of the Gear Gears from your deck in defense position. Armor, when he's flip summon and he can set himself back down, you add a Gear Gear every time he does that. And then we have Attacker and anchor one of them destroys monsters one of them destroys spell or traps so you have like built-in monster spell and trap removal and monster removal gogger can add any level four earth machine from your deck and the, the best target i think is going to be either accelerator so you can immediately go into a rank four or infinite anchor drill and i think infinite anchor drill is going to be like really good in this deck like it was in previous uh, events simply because you can target another machine both of them become level eight and you can go into this extremely budget cheap XYZ called Drag Laboon. Um, this card you attach one material, you special summon one XYZ from your extra deck that's like a dragon number. 
and then you can attach another one from your extra deck to it as material uh honestly it's not showing up here let me bring it up <clears throat> The best targets the best targets for drag laboon are going to be hope harbinger which can negate a spell which is going to be pretty useless in this event unless you're playing against pendulum i'm pretty sure you can just negate their pendulums like equip their pendulum monster or the one that i actually like genuinely like heart earth dragon this is just a normal and it's pretty much it can't be destroyed by battle and during your opponent's end phase after they like set their cards or summon their monsters you detach a material from this card and everything your opponent did is banished. It just, it just gets wiped. Uh, it's insanely cool. It also has a chaos version, which is like a level one up. I think it's a little worse. It's pretty much its effect is you can um, detach one material, negate the effects of all face up monsters your opponent controls. That's about it. It, it has another effect where if, if like you take damage, you heal. Literally the, the non chaos version is just way better. We also run silver and gold gadget. They um, go into each other to let you special summon a level four machine from your deck. This is pretty much a level four spam deck. We have to like protect ourselves. We're not running Toriental because we don't want to lose our own monsters. We just want to get rid of our opponents. So we're running cards like bottomless trap hole, lost wind, negate our opponent's monsters, heavy storm duster, remove their spawn traps. This one's a unique one. It's called the huge revolution is over. If a spell or trap or monster effect would destroy two or more cards on the field, negate the activation if you do banish it. This is just to protect. If we have our like board set up and we have like three or four set spell or traps and we have like two monsters and we're just like continuously getting advantage every turn and our opponent tries to do something that like blows up our board, like maybe like Black Rose Dragon, this card negates it, it protects us. I, I, I think it's good to have this in the deck if we're running like heavy back row, like we are. Three Phoenix Chain, you can either run three Phoenix Chain or you can run like the Phantom Knight Sword and uh, Crusher Run. This is only good in uh earth machine decks because if one is destroyed by battle or card effect destroy a card on the field it's continuous it stays up so it's always going to be a threat your opponent's going to have to play around it as for the extra deck we just got rank four rank four package it's really cheap if you have more of the expensive rank fours feel free to put them in this is just a basis i'm trying to make it cheap and if you want to upgrade it you can we also have babuska i just think babuska is so good if you ever play any rank four deck you should craft this it's just like meta defining it's so powerful Summon it in defense, it's literally like negates all your opponent's monsters, they can't do anything. Kind of like um, Swords of Revealing Light, if you've ever heard of that, your opponent just can't do anything. This is a really cool card in rank 4 decks, it's called Drill Driver. You just XYZ on top of a rank 4, uh, it does piercing, it's 25 attack. Also, if it dies from an opponent, you can just special summon a level 4 from your graveyard. I think it's genuinely good. Drag Laboon, it's our rank 8 package. We run the seven sins. This can be XYZ on top of a rank 10 or 11. So it can be XYZ on top of heart earth and uh, heart earth chaos. And essentially its effect is if it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, detach one, it's 4,000 attack, 3,000 defense. It's huge. Also has another effect, detach two materials from this card, banish as many special summon monsters your opponent controls, and then attach one of them as material to this card. Like, it, it, I think it's good. It's just... If you're like, man, Heart Earth isn't going to do anything. You just summon this guy on top of Heart Earth and you literally have a 4k beater that can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Like, you're chilling. And then we have Zeus. Zeus is just good in any XYZ deck. Uh, if you don't know about Zeus, he's detached two materials, send all other cards on the field. He's just a nuke. And then if any of your cards would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can attach one card from your hand, deck, or extra deck to this card. Just genuinely overpowered card. That's why it's at one. And this is going to be the final deck list. This is going to be... Salmon great budget. We're going to be running three mole because mole has the effect that if we link some in that turn, we can just special summon this for free. We don't have the powerful Salmon great spells, the one that adds you a monster, and we don't have the one that lets you special summon a Salmon great every turn from your graveyard or from your hand. So we're going to have to be a little more spammy. Mole is going to be great here because it extends your plays. It gets you another monster so you can keep doing your plays and doing your things. One mirror because we only need one. Mirror is good if we add it from the deck, we can instantly special summon it. But we don't really want to see more than one of it in our opening hand because it's kind of useless. Uh, one Ash Blossom, it comes in the bundle deal. You can add it back from your graveyard to your hand using Sunlight Wolf. If you own more Ash Blossoms, feel free to use it. Three Flame Buffler. I don't really like this card when we don't run a, a lot of hand traps, but we do run a lot of traps. So what you're hoping to draw with Flame Buffalo Man is you're hoping to draw the traps because then you can just set the traps and you can be chilling. You have more protection. Three Foxy, since we're running more Salamon Great cards, Foxy is effects most likely to be live where we look at the top three cards of our deck. Also, Foxy can pop a face up spell or trap on the field, which in a trap only event might be really useful. We have two Gazelle, you can only run two. Three Spinny, it's good in the graveyard. The 10 effects kind of meh. 
Three Lady Debug, it lets you add any level 3 or lower cyber deck, uh, cyberverse from your deck to him. Very, very good stuff. Only one Falco, one Jack Jaguar, and one Fowl. Fowl, you can bump it up if you want, but I think Fowl is good at one because it does allow you to extend your plays. But essentially, Mole does what Fowl does, except we don't need to commit uh, Salomon Great Normal Summon in order for Mole to go off. Jack Jaguar is good in the graveyard, and Falco is good in the graveyard, lets you recycle your spawn traps. Parallel Exceed is an extender if we link summon, so if we go into the link one, we can summon this dude, we get two monsters on the field. Uh, they're going to be Wind and Fire, which means we can go into Decode Talker really easily. Toriental Tribute's really powerful in this deck, especially because if we have a Bane Links on our graveyard, if we activate Toriental Tribute, normally our monsters would die from Toriental Tribute. But Bane Links will just banish itself and our monsters stay protected. We only destroy our opponent's cards. So it's pretty insane. Lost Wind is pretty good here. Negates a monster effect. Uh, half Sir Attack. Comes back in the graveyard. It's just we have a lot of like uh, recurrence in this deck. Heavy Duster I think is going to be extremely good. Uh, Rage can pop multiple cards on the field. And you can also bring it back from the graveyard using your Link uh, 2 Sunlight Wolf. And then Roar can Omni negate anything. Negate Spell Trapper Monster Effect. It's just going to be powerful. Extra deck is Bay Links. It's just structure deck. We crafted Flame Administrator. It boosts all our Link monsters attack by 800. Now, it's not going to be as powerful since we don't have the spell card that lets us special summon the Links from our graveyard. But it's still pretty good nonetheless. It makes our monsters bigger. And I will say that if you own expensive Link monsters like Boro Sword, Axis Code Talker, put them in the deck. Uh, take out Flame Administrator, take out an Update Jammer. Update Jammer is only here because if we link into Heat Soul, Heat Soul can attack twice. And I mean, it's like more damage. This guy, is, he has like multiple effects. You should probably read it. It's like a lot to going on there. Sunlight Wolf has the effect where we can target a fire in our graveyard. If a monster special summon to its own, add it to our hand. And then we can just add a spell or trap Salmon Great from our graveyard to our hand every single turn. Very good stuff. Splash Mage is a super rare. If you don't want to craft this card, you don't have to. You don't need it. But it's the best um, way to go into Heat Soul. It's literally, as soon as it's summoned, special summon a Cyberverse from your graveyard in defense position, and then you just go into Heat Soul. It's so easy to go into Heat Soul, and Heat Soul is you pay a thousand light points, draw a card. He also has another effect, if you're like low on light points, you can like use this effect. I've never done it once, but, I mean, it may come up, you never know. Uh, and then we have three copies of Heat Leo, which I think is going to be like really good in this, because it's target a set, spell or trap, your opponent control, shuffle them into deck. You can do that twice, link on top of it. Uh, it's going to be really good in this event. But that's it for all the deck lists. I hope you enjoyed them. And I really do hope that it helped you out. If it did, feel free to leave a big fat thumbs up. It shows me a lot of love. And besides that, I hope the event goes well for you. I hope you have a great day or night. And maybe I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. You can check out all the new content I'm going to be making. But besides that, hope you have a great day. See ya. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You are too much raining. <laughs>